So today we're talking about Mad Men versus Math Men. Two different types of people, but very, very different types of beasts. So you have your Don Drapers, and if you haven't watched Mad Men, please watch it. It's such a good show. And you have your today's Alexander Nix. Pretty crazy documentary, but if you have time, watch The Great Hack on Netflix. If you don't have time, Mad Men is short for Madison Avenue Men. The advertising giants responsible for almost every single advert you see on TV, or better yet, the Super Bowl commercials. The guys behind making brands big like Coca-Cola, Apple, McDonald's, the list goes on and on. Alexander Nix, this guy is a bit different. He ran, and literally, which is now banned, a firm called Cambridge Analytica. Essentially, this guy was responsible for Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign, which he won. So politics aside, he utilized engaging pieces of propaganda and delivered different types of ad based off of a really, really data-driven understanding of almost a billion plus users. Let's just say they knew what would resonate with each and every single user and use a very personalized message to make them do what they want subconscious training. So you have Don Draper as a madman and you have Alexander Nix as a mathman. Which one are you? Which one do you want to be and why each one is just as bad as the other? You see, these are very extreme sides of the spectrum and in the e-commerce world, you need to know both sides to see where you fall within that spectrum. You need to know the edges. Here are the cons for being a Don Draper. Although it's a solution for somewhat a long-term strategy and having creatives as the center point of your advertising, this brings a downfall of not being data-driven off of the creatives you produce. You start to assume and jump to conclusions of what your customers like. And this can lead to a very tough and sticky situation no big brand wants to be in. Kendall Jenner trying to fix racism with a Pepsi. At the end of it, these guys are basically responsible for what we see today in the mainstream media or just in our cultures. The Travis Scott and McDonald's collaboration with White and Kennedy, or share a Coke campaign with XYZ name from Ogilvy. Honestly, these giants are slowly dying. They're literally just being replaced with Gen Z influencers who know their audience better than them. But here are the downfalls with what comes with being a Alexander Nix. Don't get me wrong, it's literally a solution for sure. It can drive revenue really, really quick. A literal solution that won presidency, but it was also a solution that led to two trials of impeachments. Aside from that, what ends up happening by being too number-centric, Facebook ad-centric, or pixel-centric, you begin to position your store and have decisions based off of Excel files, PML sheets, KPI calculators. Literally, the list goes on and on. You begin to objectify your customers, the literal lifeblood of your business. I even fall short to it, thinking I can just media buy my way out of a product. Don't get me wrong, there's literally nothing wrong whatsoever with launching a store for purely profits. Having a machine that can drive you profits is absolute nuts. It's pretty insane and crazy. But for the people that want their brand to stick around for five plus years, which is still considerably short, Objectifying customers to an Excel sheet is a very quick route for failure. The big businesses of today, like Apple, Amazon, Tesla, have such an ungodly amount of respect for their core customers. So what's the solution? What do you think? Is there a middle ground? Discuss with your friends.